Hello to you guys, welcome back. Hello, hi. I haven't uploaded or recorded in a shocking amount of time and I'm not gonna lie, this is uh, this is weird. And if you can hear a noise in the background, that is my hamster Harriet. She is noisy and she is playing on her wheel at the minute. I'm sorry. I want to make a video today talking about what's been going on. I have just kind of vanished from the internet the last few months and I haven't been here and I haven't been great and I don't know I've had a really rough few weeks I want to say and <laughs> been, things have been getting bad when I say bad I mean really bad so I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes two months ago and then last month I had an antibody test done. I got the results of them and I am now diagnosed type 1 diabetic. So I have, I have to use insulin. I have this one which is Nova Rapid. It is a fast acting insulin. I use it whenever I eat or if I have something sugary I have to. And then I have a long one which is called Lantus. It's a long acting insulin. I do it once a day in the morning. Honestly I found this harder to deal with. I found the type 2 diagnosis hard to deal with. The type 1 made me worse and it made me, it made me really really down and I'm not gonna sit and pretend it didn't. Going from having freedom of doing what you want without having to think about it is one thing. So having to think about what I eat and inject insulin every single time I eat and knowing that I'm going to have to do that the rest of my life is something that hit really hard and I was taken to a psychiatric assessment unit a few weeks ago because of how badly this has affected me and I've been under the crisis team for three weeks and last week my I'm under a complex care team. My psychiatrist though actually started prescribing me Haloperidol again. I'm on capsules for Haloperidol. I take it twice a day. I take it morning and night and it has helped a lot. I don't know if you can tell that I'm on new meds or that things have changed, but if you can, that's why I'm on new meds. I'm also on Ambien rather than Zopiclone. I don't take Zopiclone anymore and I'm glad. Since the type 1 diagnosis, I have lost a lot of weight. I can't pretend I haven't. I, I've actually dropped below what I thought, below what I wanted to and I'm not that happy about it. My goal was to stay at 60 kilograms and I haven't. I struggle with food and I've had no secret, I've made this no secret. I've literally posted videos of me and my worst with my eating and right now I'm in a position where I don't even want to eat. So if anyone's wondering where I've been, I've been dealing with my health. You know, the, di the diabetes is something that I have to, I've got to learn to deal with. It's not going to go away. I am insulin dependent, I don't have a choice anymore. And, like I said, it's a very big thing to try and deal with. Like, it's constantly on my mind, it's constantly something that I'm thinking about. In the respect that I'm just like, how do I even deal with this? How do I live with this for the rest of my life? And that made me really, like, I really wanted to end things and it got to a point where I, I, I'm someone who doesn't use text lines or helplines or crisis teams, I don't, I don't, I, I got to, I was using Shout and I would, I would recommend them, I, I've used them four times, four times, um, two of those occasions they did phone the police and I can't say I was happy about it but they have policy as to safeguard and they're there for a reason. I was really low, I was considering, well, no let me correct that, I was going to end my life and I cut off and I was genuinely afraid because I, I don't want to die, I will say that I don't want to die but I do have those thoughts because my life has literally changed. Like I've gone from having complete and total freedom with everything to I can't eat that, I have to think about this, I have to use this much insulin if I eat that. 
honestly, it's, it's so stressful. I don't know, you can probably tell that I'm still a bit, I'm still a bit shaken from it all. I'm trying to cry, I'm literally gonna do a live stream in an hour, fuck. This is not something that is easy and people can say, well, what do you expect and blah, blah, blah. Type 1 diabetes has got nothing to do with what I eat. It's got nothing to do with that. It's just stigma. Type 1 diabetes is where your pancreas just doesn't produce insulin at all. Like my pancreas doesn't work. Sorry. That's got nothing to do. It's just such a hard thing to like wrap your head around and actually think about. I don't know. It's just something that I don't think people realise how hard it's actually been. Like the type 2 diagnosis I could have dealt with and that is something I could have learned to control. Having type 1, it, it's a lifestyle change in a really intense form. Like it's not even... It's not even like it's as simple as just don't eat this. Because no matter what I have to eat, I could eat a piece of fruit. Or a vegetable I will still have to use insulin for that just a lot's been going on and I haven't felt like filming and you, you can tell I'm so not used to filming because I'm not looking at the lens I'm not looking at my camera I'm just like looking around and I'm sorry I'm trying I really am trying to stay focused and film and get back on track but it just it's just gonna take time unfortunately but I did want to want to stop by and say hi and that I am here just about this room light is giving me such a bad headache but thank you for watching the video and thank you for supporting me thank you for being here and thank you for bearing with me while my uploads have been a bit all over the place from me and from anyone to anyone who needs to hear this your life has got value your life is important and support is out there. I know like I'm a hypocrite for saying that because I am guilty of thinking like what's the point? Is that we even worth getting help? And I'm not gonna pretend that I'm not. But yeah, support is there. Anyway, thank you for watching this. Thank you for supporting me. And thank you to Harriet for joining me in this outro. Although I'm not quite sure what she's trying to do you doing but yeah thank you for watching the video and i'll see you guys soon with a new video bye <laughs> hamster